Hello everyone, welcome to Journal Pens and Inks. I hope you had a great day. Today I will be reviewing the Kuweco or Kaveco fountain pen. This is the Ice Sport in the red. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox it for you. It's so little, y'all. Look at it. This is the um how the box look. Uh yeah, this is the details. You want to go to their um, website is kaweco-pen.com. And that's the Kaweco's um, logo. We have more branding here. Pretty much the same. And it's the box made in Germany. Yes, so let's go ahead and look at it. And I did order this off the Goulet Pen Company. Ooh, look at that. Got the zero number and stuff on here. So, wow, it's very light and it's very tiny. It does say um, Kaweco Sport here. This is the light, I mean, the ice in red, and it's a demonstrator pen. You know, the demonstrator pens are have that clear body. So, it's so little. Wow. <laughs> okay, so this is. Um, Let's go ahead and look at the top. You do have the Kuwaiko logo at the top right here. You have Kuwaiko Sport. That's how it looks on the bottom here. So let's go ahead and unscrew this. Wow, look at that. Here is the nib itself. It does have that Kuwaiko um, branding on the nib. This is how it will look on the bottom. It has the um, Kuwaiko branding on there. Right there. Nice. So did this did come with a cartridge? Let's screw this. It's a very short cartridge. This that does say Kuwaiko on here. Kaweko, Kaweko. There you go. And it's the color blue. It's the bottom. Now, it did not come with the converter, but I did buy a Kaweko converter. Well, I think it was a, a piston converter. I think $5 or $4 extra. It's a very short converter, too. Let's go ahead and take it out for you. And there it is. It has the logo on it as well. It says it's uh, Kaweco. It's very short. Look at that. It's so tiny. Just pull it up. Yep. <laughs> it's cute. Then I did get the the clip for. I do like the clips. The, the um, silver clip does have the Kaweco logo on it. Right here. Let's try and get a better angle right there. So yeah. Since 1883. Wow. That's been a long time ago, y'all. Long time ago. So let's go ahead and put the clip on the let's put this back on. The clip on. And there it is. Ooh, very um clippable. <laughs> Seemed like it was it's gonna stay. So yeah. Um right here, should I turn it around? But it's gonna show it's going the clip is gonna um cover the Kaweco sport if I turn it around. So I'm just gonna leave it like this. But it does look good like this. It's cute. Now, let's do a writing sample, but I don't know if I want to put ink in here or should I just use the cartridge? Okay, now let's go ahead and put the cartridge in. We're going to just push it. Push it like that. It should be in. Yeah, because I see, I think I see the 
ink flowing right in here. So let's put the cap back on. Let's put the body back on. Now, I can't tell you the name of the specific part. I'm not a fountain pen expert, but there is. I hate getting ink on my fingers, but there's the ink is flowing now. So, and this pen is so short, but let's undo it right here. See, when you write with it, in my hands, is, 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 I can, it feels pretty good unposted because it's not like it's coming right here. It's actually above that area. So, fits good. So, when I post it, then it looks like this. Let me get my camera right. Like this. So, it looks good. Feels real good too, y'all. Yeah. So let's go ahead and do a quick writing sample. The quick brown box jumped <laughs> over the lazy dog. Nice. So for wetness, very wet oh i forgot to tell you this is a fine nib so yeah so let's do see if we have some line variations so there were some flex look oh it's okay it's not with a lot of pressure it's with pressure but not with a lot of pressure oh cool let's try and see Okay. Nice. So, what else do I need to do? Um, will it reverse right? Let's flip it over. Re reverse right. It's a little scratchy. But why would anybody do reverse writing anyway? But yeah, so there it is. The right's pretty good to me. So. Yeah, and this blue is pretty nice as well. So here I have my um Jen Hao 599 metal fountain pen. I just want to compare the size with <laughs> with it with the Kaweco. The Kaweco. And yes, yeah, very short pen, but it actually feels real good in the hand. So let me go ahead and post it. Because when you post it. It's longer. See that? And it feels real good. It feels real natural in the hand. Love it so far. So good. Bam. So that was my little unboxing of the Kuwaiko Sport with a writing sample. I really do hope you like it. This is my first video of a fountain pen or a slight review of a fountain pen. I really hope you liked it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And yeah, guys. Okay, so let me go ahead and write in my journal with my pen. All right, guys.